Hi viewers and welcome to my tutorial for today. I sincerely from my heart appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And please if you are yet to subscribe, just touch on the red icon to subscribe and also touch on the notification bell. Select all to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today we shall be looking at cutting and sewing of a low and high A-shaped gown with front flap. So let's go to the cutting table. Okay, here we shall be using 1 yard and 24 inches for this dress. And first, we fold our fabric into four. First of all, fold into two, then we fold again. And as you can see, I folded this fabric into four equal parts. So here, I will mark out my zip allowance. I'm using one and a half inches. So I'll just mark this one and half down to the length of the dress. I'll just connect the line. So this one, this uh, this one that is folded, will be the front. So this is where we are going to sew straight for our flap. Then the then the down one will be where our zipper will be seated. So from here we take our measurement, and the shoulder we are working with is fourteen. Inches. So divide by two, give us seven. Then we mark our three inches for shoulder slope. Sorry, our uh, half length is sixteen inches. And from waist to hip, line is 9 inches. Then the length of our gown is 39 inches. So you mark our 39 inches. So from here, our armhole is 18. Sorry, because this is a stretchy material, we'll be using 16 inches. Divide by 2 to give us 8. Then we add 1 for our shoulders look. So we remove the, that 1 inch that we added here. Here, we remove it from this place. So our bust measurement is 40, divide by 4 to give us 10. Mark our 10 here. Then 
Then we add one inch for ease because you don't want the dress to be fitted. So we just add one inch for ease and one and a half inch for seam allowance. So the waist we are using is 40, is 36, sorry. Divide by 4 to give us 9. Then we add our 1 inch for ease. And 1 and a half for seam allowance. And the hip is 43 divided by 4 to give us 10.75. 10.75. Then we add 1 inch for ease. And another 1.5 one inch for seam allowance. So all together here we are having 13 inches. So for the length of our gown, we'll be adding one and a half inch for folding. And for the back, remember the front will be up a little and the down will be down. And the back, sorry, will be down. So for here, we want the difference to be five inches. So from the length of our dress, we'll mark five inches. And we add one and a half inch for our folding. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So I have this line and this line. So here we have seven inches. So we look for the midpoint, which is three and a half, which is here, which is this place. So from here now, we curve it this way. Sorry, we are curving. We are not going to make it to reach to the main length. So we are coming this way. Then we now go, we just join it straight. We just curve it like this. Then here, we curve to join the last line. We are coming this way and this way. So now we will first of all cut out the down part.
Then we take down our 13 inches. So we connect the line. So for the neck, for the neck volume, we'll be using three inches for the neck volume. And the neck depth for the back, we'll be using one and a half. Then for the front, we'll be using four inches. So we just curve it like this. So after cutting out the back, you just gently separate it. Then here we cut out the front, the front neck. Then we come down to the down part and from here so we have something like this So at the down part, we'll be having something like this. As you can see how this place is called. I remember the picture, the picture I showed you of, of this dress. There is an attachment here at the neck, at the round neck. There's an attachment of a round neck here. So to achieve that, you are going to remove one inch. From the from the neck depth of our front dress. Mark one inch here. Then from here. From here. Not from the not from up here. Just somewhere here. You just carefully curve it this way. We'll just cut it out.
I'll still cut out. I'll still cut this one inch to replace what I cut out from the neck. But first, I will go to my machine and sew a straight line here. From here, I'll sew a straight line to this one and half inch down. Then I'll iron it. Then join the two shoulders, the front and the back shoulders together. So now I've sewed up the straight line at the front part, as you can see, and I've also ironed it. So this is the flap here. This is the flap. And I've also joined the two shoulders together. So now I'll use my tape to measure around the neck from the from this end. I'll just measure it round. So here I have 30 inches around the neck. So I'll use this 30 inches now. I'll divide it by four. Bring another fabric, fold it into four. So when I divide the round neck, what I got, which is 30, divide by four. Whatever I have, I will use it to get what I will use to replace the one inch that I remove from the front. So when we divide the 30 by 4, it will give us 7.5. So we fold our fabric into 4. Then we come here and put our tape like this. Then we mark. So we have something like this. So from the inner part, we will measure that's our one inch. Then you add whatsoever thing that you are using to sew. You are using half an inch because you will be needing some inch to join the this one from the second one that we use in lining it. So I'm using half a quarter an inch to sew. So I'll just measure my one and a half inch. I'll just measure one and a half inch round. This way, I'll measure one and a half inch. So I'll just connect it. I'll just cut this out. So after cutting, we have something like this. So we use this one now to cut out another one that we use to line it. So I'll have something like this. I'll just open up one end. And I'll open up this one too. So I'll just go to my machine and line it up. Remember that this small part is the one that will be close to the neck. So you're going to sew it like this. I'm going to sew like this. And after sewing, I'll just turn so that I'll turn it. When I turn it up, it will be to give me something like this. To not give me something like this. So now I've finished closing this and I've turned it up and as you can see I've also closed this side. So I'll just attach it to the neck of my dress. From this side. And I'll just sew it round. Now, 
I finished lining up the the neck. So I'll use my body measurements to close it up. So I'll just use this body measurement to close up here, then insert my zip. I've also cut out my I've already cut out my sleeve, but I want it to have a hole here at the at the by the side of the hand. So I'll just mark out it's more to have something like this so I'll just trim it out So the hand will come out this way. So I'll just use my bias and turn up this place. Then fold the down before inserting it to my gown. So I'll quickly go to my machine and finish it up. And that will be all. Okay, now this is the result of our dress. As you can see, it comes out very neat. And this is the flap. And this is also the back. So this is the sleeve, the opening that we did. So thank you for watching till the end. Till we meet in my next class. And please, if you are yet to subscribe, just touch on the red icon to subscribe and also touch on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you. Bye.